83 Gutierrez backdoor was discovered accidentally by software engineer Anders Front when he observed logins within SSH taking a lot of CPU powers. This Linux vulnerability could cause major cyber attacks with enormous damage worldwide. Because the majority of world servers run on Linux, including banks, hospitals, government agencies, and Fortune 500 companies. The backdoor has been planted by previously trusted developer Gia Ten, who was contributing to XZUtils project since October 2021. In this video, I'll explain why this backdoor is a major cybersecurity threat. The actual backdoor code was added on February 23, 2024, and it was discovered by friend roughly one month later, before it was widely distributed in Linux distributions and other projects. While it is common for sophisticated threat actors to target open source software in supply chain attacks, this malicious operation appears to have been planned for several years. This vulnerability is reported on March 29, 2024 to the Common Vulnerability and Exposure Repository with CVE-2024-3094 with the highest severity score 10. According to the National Vulnerability Database, NVD, the malicious code was discovered in an upstream tarball of XZ starting with the version 5.6.0. Red Hat stated the malicious injection was detected only in the tarball download packages of XZ, versions 5.6.0 and 5.6.1 libraries. XZUtils is a set of free software command line useless data compressors for Unix-like operating system and from version 5.0 onward for Microsoft Windows. Therefore, the vulnerability on this open source software could impact the majority of servers worldwide. The malicious code uses a series of complex obfuscations and build a process from a disguised test file existing in the source code. The malicious code modified a specific functions in libLZMI library and result in interceptions and modifications of any software linked to this library. An initial finding shows that the malicious code attempts to weaken the authentication of SSH sessions via SSHD. While OpenSSH is not directly linked to the libLZMA library, it does communicate with systemd and exposes due to systemd linking to libLZMA library. As of now, the vulnerability impacted Debian version 5.1, Kali system updated between March 26 to 29th of 2024, OpenSUSE between March 7th to 28th of 2024, any Linux image creating between 24th of February 2024 till 28th of March 2024, and also Fedora. The investigation is ongoing and the latest information reveals that Backdoor targeted only X64 architectures. The impacted system will be updated in the description when the new information arrives.